Hey. Um. So I don't know why I'm even well. Why I've been feeling compelled to make this since. So September what is that now? September, October, November. September, October, November, December, January. And now it's June. So, yeah, on the 15th, it will be actually nine months, which is crazy to even think about. But as the title of the video suggests, um, I lost my dad, like, nine months ago. Um, Honestly, at this point, I might just schedule this on the date, so I don't even... Well, I mean, it's it was on the 15th, but... Yeah, um... It's it's so awkward now because I really have just kind of gone into this with no script or anything, but I genuinely just was just bored right now, and I thought, well, I mean, I've had this video on my mind for a while, so why not record it and just talk about it? Because, like, I'll be honest, like when it first happened, I literally didn't even mention that it was my dad that passed. I all I mentioned was like, um, someone close to me has like died and. Like, even in September, like, um, if you look at one of the Sherry Arbor Story update videos, I say that it's in memory of, like, someone close to me that's passed. I didn't even mention my dad by name or anything like that. And obviously, I'm not going to mention his actual name because doxing him would be doxing me as well. And, yeah, um, obviously, I'm not going to talk about more of the events of, like, what happened during that time other than just... It's been weird because even to this day i'll get certain feelings that like he's still around like even nine months later and, like obviously me and the rest of the family we're all going through different like emotions it's not on me to speak on what they're feeling but me myself like i kind of at least the first week it happened and when the funeral happened and stuff i just couldn't like um stay at home i just wanted to get out so like, even though my workplace is very sound, like, they literally would have, like, genuinely, I don't even mean this sarcastically, they probably would have given me three whole weeks off if it meant me, like, actually just coming to terms, well, not even coming to terms, but coping with the loss of my dad. And, um, yeah. See, in another way now, I'm just thinking to myself, like, is there really any point in letting everybody know about this? But at the same time, I, I don't know. See, again, I, I just, like, I just was bored right now, and I was like, this video has been in my back of my head for a certain degree. And I, I probably did write it on the board at one point and rubbed it off and wrote it back on again and wrote it off, I, I rubbed it off, but, yeah. See, I don't know, I probably haven't really mentioned it much in videos. I probably mentioned it somewhere before, and I've even mentioned it to other people. Um, But this ring, hold on. don't know if you really hear that. This ring is actually like a family heirloom. Uh, they passed down to me when he was 21 his parents uh, rest their souls as well I actually never got the new to myself they actually passed or well bought this ring for him and then when I was 21 he bought this ring for me so that was like three well not bought it but uh, passed it down sorry as an heirloom and Jesus now thinking about that that was three years ago it was just crazy to think about and I'm, I know I'm being morbid when I think about this now but in three months it'll be a year since he's like passed and I don't even know what to think of it. Like, at the very least, I will say, though, with a mix of emotions I had on Tuesday night, um, other than feeling sorry for myself in a certain way, like, I was also thinking about him, and I just couldn't help but just cry it out. Like, because everyone, like, keep getting told this constantly when it comes to, um, what's my call? When it comes to coping and when it comes to coming to terms with your, like, grief and stuff like that. That everyone's different. Like, honestly, for the most part, I'm sound. Like, I, I probably even have this bad kind of habit. Even though, like, I say it's a bad habit, like, about making jokes about his death and stuff. Because it is, again, my kind of way of just getting through it. And just letting everybody else know, yeah, he was a guy, like, that I knew. And I loved him very much, like. um, But that doesn't mean you can't mention him by name. Like, if somebody says the word dad near me, it's just like... Obviously, like, you know, I'm going to think about it for a brief moment, but it's not, I'm not going to fucking break down on the spot, like, unless I'm really heavy in thought or anything about him or something like that. But I think as well, another reason I'm even making the video now is like, I'll just look it up real quick, but I'm pretty sure in Ireland, um, I'll just look it up real quick, uh, Father's Day 2024, Ireland, 
in Ireland, there's been a lot of like different Father's Day um, stuff. So like cards and mugs and chocolates and so on and so forth. That's been put in the shops. And that's the fucking worst part about shops putting that shit in early. It's just like, for someone like me, I start thinking about And obviously, like, they don't have to cater towards me, this one poor guy that lost his dad, like, nine months ago. But I will be genuine. There have been moments where I have kind of just paused and I've just looked at these bits and I've just thought to myself, damn, yeah, just, like, like as morbid and funny in a weird roundabout way it is, I, I don't actually have to pay for anything like that. Now, sure, like, I do... To a certain degree, I have like a male role role model to a certain degree, even though he is a bit of a traditionalist. He has given me good advice and it's kind of sent me on the spree of and looking around like and seeing what I like to do in life and like um trying to make it work out of it and stuff like that, because he's been through a lot in his own life. He's like uh, not the doxin too much, but he's been he's like over half a century old. Like that's not even an exaggeration. That's just the truth. But the way I put it there, it seems like I'm being sarky towards him, but yeah, um, and obviously the joke with him is like, I, I constantly say to everyone else, oh, that's my adopted dad, like, he, he's adopted me, and like, he's trying to take care of me now, like, um, but yeah, so like, you think as well, I, I will mention that all the stuff about the funeral and stuff like that, and even getting gravestone and stuff like that, it would, it would all be done. But unfortunately, it just hasn't. Like, Ireland's, like, health system, like, this is really tied into health, in a sense, is so fucking shit. Like, his, like, not to give away too much information, his death certificate, we were told we were going to get it, like, six months after he passed. So that was back in March. March 15th passed, nothing in the mail. Uh, so we actually had to get in contact with the um, people involved with that. And they said, oh yeah, it should be another three months. There's been a backlog of this, that, and the other. Check back in soon. Uh, and, you know, it's June now. Uh, nearly another three months later. And still no word of it at all. And even though I'm pretty sure they probably said before as well, oh yeah, we're prioritizing yours, making sure it gets through. Bullshit the lot of it, honestly. They just say that to grieving people because they just don't understand what they're going through, to be honest. Like... Like, I'm almost convinced that they haven't lost someone themselves, like, and they just don't know the, like, pain of it, like. And it does hurt because, like, like, me and my poor family, we just want to get through this, and obviously it will never end, like, we'll still feel grief, but, like, like, getting that death certificate will actually finally conclude, like, two things, again, these are private things, I can't really talk about them here in this video, but it would help us conclude some things that Dad left over before he passed. And obviously that we have to kind of pick up the pieces now and uh, finish off for him. And once they're done, they're done. Like, I don't think there's anything else left to them other than to just finish it off. But I am just so convinced that June 15th is going to pass and we're still not going to see that death certificate. And honestly, I'm going to be so sad. A day before Father's Day, I just realized there as well. I'm just looking at the date of Father's Day again. I will say as well... um. Like, genuinely, I know that sounds morbid, what I'm going to say. But I think I would celebrate if we finally got the death certificate. It's like, fucking hell, finally. Like, after all this time, we finally be given some relief. Finally, in the back of our heads, we're like, this shit is almost over. Because as I said, once things are done with it, like, there's still some things in the house that we hold that are from him. But we can finally get rid of them. Because again, private stuff, can't mention it too much. So on and so forth. Um, word of advice if you're ever getting um a funeral director make sure they don't con you as well because I feel like we were massively conned but obviously this is a ledge I can't really say for certain Um, because we just didn't feel like we were treated with the right respects at all and I would go into that a bit more, but I do remember I had a little recording before in the past. I think maybe that was a first attempt of trying to make this, but I really was getting heated. So that's all I can say. And that's that. And as I said, once uh, we get the deaf, sir, I'd be willing to definitely like try and actually get um, a gravestone put on the site where he's buried because it's still a tacky looking thing that's like put on the ground. Like it doesn't even look good at all. And 
especially because it's summer now, all the weeds and the grass are growing really tall and just kind of like, you know, making the grave look bad. Like, yeah. You know, a thing like we like at least myself do, I, I think it's a bit personal to say, but um, I do try to visit him at least once a month. And, you know, this is more just curiosity for the people out there that haven't lost someone and they're kind of curious about, oh, what is it like um, thing. And honestly, right now I'm still kind of seeing him. And for me, like going out to him and just speaking my mind, especially when no one else is around, can be really therapeutic in a sense. And it lets me get out emotions that I just don't really get the chance to let out at home at all. That's not to say I can't, like I could, but... I just hate to bother other people with my problems to a certain degree. I say that, but I'm fucking... If you ask cer certain friends, like, they'll say that I'm a moany fucking cunt, like. Um, and, yeah, obviously, I could be like, oh, well, my dad passed. But, like, at that point, Jesus, Joe, you're kind of dragging it out. But, no, I genuinely don't use that excuse a lot because a friend had told me before, like, I was apologizing for making an error of one of those, like, dead jad dad jokes. And they're like, Joe, seriously, don't worry about it. Like, you haven't even mentioned them for a while, like. So that's good, though. That's good that I'm being reassured like that. Yeah, um, I don't really know if there's much else to talk about. Uh, obviously, you probably were expecting me to cry during this video at some point. I do feel like some tears are coming on, so I might stop before it gets to that point. Um, Just like what everybody else would say, especially after they've lost someone, or people who are really family people, is just to, like treasure the people around you because you genuinely just don't know when one day life is just going to be like click gone out of your life and i will say another final 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 thing is just i sound insane when i say this but i feel like i genuinely had like a premonition like a prediction like not even a dream because like if it was a dream i'd be like okay what in the dream seems off to be a dream but it genuinely was just like a play by play on like how he actually died in real life. And it's kind of like unironically made me now nah, I, I don't go on about this too much because I know I sound like a fucking lunatic. But I genuinely do think sometimes I can actually like predict the future. But that's the only one time I've done it. I'm not saying I've been doing this forever. But Jesus Christ, the accuracy. I can't again, it's a bit private. I can't really go over it. But the accuracy of the prediction. Of that one night I dreamt. I don't even remember what night it was. But it was like, Jesus Christ, that's way too accurate how that like was thing. Anyway, maybe I've just convinced myself at this point. Maybe it was big deja vu. Who the fuck knows? Anyway, I'm going to leave it there before I ramble on and on. Um, so yeah, hopefully it will uh, keep trucking along. Um, I will admit, life hasn't been the same without him. Obviously, I miss him. But this is what life's got to do, you know? Life has to move on we have to keep pushing and so on so yeah thank you just for listening to my little ramble